Luxardo. It comes in its own basket, and that's really all you need to know about it. Um, looks great uh, on your bicycle next to a baguette, you know, in the, in the basket. Um, Luxardo is a maraschino liqueur. It's one of those things that I often like to say, it tastes like it smells, and it does, and it smells incredible. A little bit goes a long way, like truffle oil, but, uh, I mean, you can actually enjoy sipping on it if you wanted to put it like, as like an aperitif or digestive. It, it works in this way. Um, maybe it would be, it's, it's very powerful tasting. I wouldn't personally uh, roll that way with it, but um, you will find this in a number of, um, a number of classic cocktails, uh, that, that, you know, the Prohibition era cocktails that come from those fancy New York hotel bars. Um, that when uh, mixology, but a disclaimer down here, do not like the term mixology. Um, but when that became a thing, I would say like around 2010-ish, it kind of reached a peak. Uh, uh, people were relying upon these classic cocktails. Now, what are we talking about? Many of the, we've made on this show before, the last word, that's gin, luxardo, green chartreuse, and lime juice. You could also try mezcal in that drink. That's a good switch up. Uh, the aviation cocktail, gin, luxardo, creme de violette, which is, if you have a bottle of creme de violette, and I do, I will probably have that bottle forever. Because um, as far as I can see, it only goes in an aviation cocktail, but it's an essential ingredient. It's worth it. it. It makes the drink the drink that it is. That and, of course, the Luxardo maraschino liqueur. And aviation cocktail also involves orange bitters, as does a casino, which is gin, uh, Luxardo lemon, and orange bitters. Champagne cocktail. A nice light, low ABV sipper would be the Luxardo, as well as champagne. Yes, you can use Prosecco or Brut or Cava, whatever, but if you have champagne, like, go for it. Uh, and some lemon juice, so that's kind of a, it's like a French 75 vibe, minus the gin. I wonder if you could actually just put Luxardo in a French 75. Yes, yes you could, and I think that you should. Try that one out. I never ever make rum drinks on this show, and it's not because I'm a hater of rum, it's because I just generally don't drink a lot of rum. Very sugary. Uh, not my vibe, and as a, a peace offering to my rum drinkers out there, I thought that I would feature one recipe on this episode featuring Luxardo maraschino liqueur that is a rum drink, and that would be the Hemingway Daiquiri. Hemingway Daiquiri, Ernest Hemingway. Uh, I think that uh, if you got a drink named after you that is both cool and maybe not that cool, but that was a drink that he liked to drink. Um, and who am I to, uh, you know, besmirch Hemingway? He just drank a lot. Sorry, everyone knows it. But the Hemingway daiquiri, an ounce and a half of light rum, one ounce of fresh grapefruit juice, a half ounce of lime, and a half ounce of this maraschino Luxardo liqueur, and then a teaspoon of simple syrup. You could back off of the simple syrup. Shake and strain over ice, serve with a cherry, or you can serve with a lime wheel. You can also kick that up a notch and uh, dry shake it with an egg white beforehand, and then put the ice in uh, to make it nice and creamy in flavor. But yeah, the Hemingway daiquiri, even for a non-rum fam, it is, uh, it is a, an excellent tasting drink named after uh, an excellent writer. So these are what, some uh, drinks you can make with Luxardo. Hopefully you find this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, uh, call your mom. This has been Happy Hour, brought to you by Main Spirits. You can learn more about this cocktail or this uh, spirit and many other spirits at mainspirits.com. You can download their app for your smartphone. Smart move, why, what to buy, where to buy it, what to do with it once you get it. You can also follow them on Instagram at main underscore spirits, but as always, we implore you to drink deliciously and responsibly.